And here we go. This is Beverly, and she's going to give us her story, her testimony. So, um, how did it, how did this all begin? I started back last May. I'd been playing golf and had a little recurrent injury, um, re uh, recurring discomfort from the, uh, from an old injury. And I went to my chiropractor, and weeks after weeks of uh, seeing him wasn't solving the problem so I asked for a referral from my primary care uh, doctor and she referred me to uh, we'll call him uh, orthopedic doctor number one who ordered physical therapy for a period of time okay. which I did that's good that's good and I was faithful with that and he did do some x-rays beforehand and I went back to see him for the follow-up x-rays and um, based on that he recommended a an injection, steroid injection, because I had a lot of desiccation of discs, narrowing, uh, spondylola, something or other, or something shifted forward. So he recommended for, for the pain um, a steroid injection, which did nothing. And we did CT myelograms, we did MRI. You had a myelogram? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. And it, that was, it was the day after the myelogram. Uh, when I went to go get my results, that was when the doctor had kept me waiting an hour and a half after my appointment time, and he came in to tell me that the CTM program didn't show anything, and that I was just going to have to learn to live with this. And how many months ago was this about? The CTM myelogram, I think, was in July. Okay. Wow. Last summer. Yeah. Okay. So how many orthopedic docs did you see? Five. You saw five? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. And I, I, I knew you had seen that number, but I didn't Five. Incredible. What you think I would learn. But I kept thinking that one of them would have some leg up or something in their experience that might have been missed by the others. Okay. Um, what was going through your mind? What did you think it was? I had no clue. All I knew, I was in just on a pain level of zero to ten. I was in a pain, I was at a pain level of eight. I could not sit comfortably and for any length of time, and I had to cancel two trips because of this. And there was a great deal of stress associated with this time because our son was getting married at the end of October. And I didn't think it was a good idea for the mother of the groom to be standing up during the service. Wow, okay. Uh, and who referred you here? A gal I don't know, but she works in the office of a good friend of mine who is a doctor. Okay. And uh, how did she approach you with it? What did, what did she say? Uh, the gal who referred me? Yeah. I never actually spoke to her. Uh -huh. Her employer, uh, plastic surgeon, is a dear friend of ours. And he knew what kind of uh, pain I was having. And so I guess he asked around, and uh, this gal had been to see you and thought highly of you. And and I didn't even really jump on it. Sorry. Very, that, that's very okay. quickly. Sorry. Uh -huh. uh, but it looked like Western medicine was failing me. So. Okay. So this is your fourth visit, fourth, yes. mm -hmm. fourth visit, so. and overall, how much better are you? I would say I'm about 40% better. Okay. Um, and that's getting off of the pain meds, too. I was right. eating pain meds, like, not quite like they were candy, but it was a regular thing. Yeah. It, it, and that's counterintuitive. You would think the pain medicine would make you feel better, but um, it was only just masking. The, the demon that was um, causing your pain. Oh yeah, and going off the meds has really been not difficult at all. Oh, that's good, that's good. Okay, so all of those orthopedic doctors said nothing about myofascial release, said nothing about acupuncture, mm -hmm. and um, so would you recommend this? Absolutely. Okay, and thank you very much. You bet.